I'm being completely honest, I'm like 100% sure that I never learned about the Trail of Tears in my history classes besides, you know, like side conversations or just reading my textbook independently. I don't remember a time where I was sat down and actually taught about the Trail of Tears other than it was just natives like moving and stuff. And then when I got older, I learned about the absolute unit of an army man, Andrew Jackson, just showing up and being like, hey, I, I know like you guys said we can't do this, but we're just going to get rid of them. It's not, it's not going to hurt them. They're going to be fine. They'll get land. We won't touch it. <laughs> uh, we, we won't touch it. It's not going to happen, I promise you, and they're going to be fine. And we'll just move them out of the south. I mean, they're uncivilized, but they can be uncivilized that way, and that's just like, that's basically just the trail of tears. I don't know. A lot of religious people thought it could be solved this whole like native american problem as they called it <laughs> problem um if they taught them about their religions and let them wear clothes like them and convert and some some i guess it did work on some people but like a good majority of the cherokees were like yeah no we're not we're not doing that i don't know what this white man's talking about it was mostly southern states which who's shocked i'm not um, that were like, we need to get them out because they're just like taking up our space. And if we're going to be Americans, we, this is our land. Like this isn't theirs. We're not sharing it. Um, and after taking it to court, people were kind of like, you can't just get rid of them. It's not under our control. We can't really force them out They're They were here first or, you know, but they persisted anyway. And eventually Andrew Jackson gets uh, elected and they're like oh sure let's just like throw them out like what are they gonna do fight us so around present day oklahoma is where the native american territory was set to be andrew jackson said we're not gonna touch it that's your land uh it's just don't even worry about it the native the the indian removal what is it what is it even called i don't even care about andrew jackson i don't even care to know like the terms the what, what did he call it he called it the uh let me look through my my notes he called it yeah it's just the the indian removal act right he just called it the indian removal act didn't he that's what it was called right the indian removal act i mean that sounds right so the indian removal process continued even after andrew jackson had left office um martin van buren hopped on the i hate indians train and had actual soldiers take out the people that didn't want to leave, force them at bayonet end to dip, just go. Like, there was no mercy. By 1838, 2,000 Cherokees had left their Georgia home and set off for Indian Territory, the, the new Indian Territory. And by 1840, tens of thousands of Native Americans had been driven off their land, not just in the southern states, but in the northern states as well. And hey, guess what? In 1907, when Oklahoma became a state, Indian Territory was just Thanos snapped. It was gone. Did not exist anymore. Everything was under American control, which is shocker. Didn't see that happening. There were so many like horrible things like dysentery. Everyone starved. Everyone was dying. There was about 5,000, 4,000 of 5,000 Cherokee Indians that just died. Just straight up just died. And everyone's like, oh, it's for the better. They're out, they're out of our land. Like, they're going to be fine over there. We're just going to send them off walking. I mean, that's what they do, right? They could do it. They're fine. <sighs> so, yeah, go learn about the Trail of Tears.